All right. Um, good evening. So uh, we provide you with a set of documents like this. And um, right now we want to work on this 108 how we am. So what you need to do is to open the folder and um, double click on the Oasis Montage Project file. This is 108 how we am. So there are a number of things that I want you to do. All these data have been processed, so uh, it's the map that I want you to help me make according to these templates. So it's coming on. All right, I have lots of maps. So and again, before you close, it's essential that we close all the windows before you actually see. Yeah, in that way uh, when you want to open it it becomes a little bit easier for you so the first thing to do is to go to just open a particular grid just um, let's just say rte for example open just one grid so what we are going to do is to go to map tools go to new map new map from xy so you click that and the first thing you're going to do is to scan grid so click on scan grid then you choose the grid to scan um, let's base it on this RTE you click OK now you can just click scan data for the fun of it and just to make sure the coordinate system is in zone 32 north so we click next so we have to name this map huh? it doesn't matter but that is the reference it will have let's just say RTE that should suffice I use landscape A3 and for the scale click on this scale here to bring out the scale it says 280,100 but you're going to be using 280,000 just to have a round figure and you click on finish now it creates this empty map so what you're going to do is to go to map tools again go to base map drop base map then leave it in this figure option and like I told you, we're going to be using 280,000. So that one is just to give us an idea. 280,000. The bottom margin should be 4. The right. Okay, let's make it 3, 3. 3, 3. Top 1. Left 1. Inside margin 0 0.3. I will use. So we'll click on next. And uh, for the reference grid, edge ticks and for the compass annotation we could click edge sticks we click on next again so we have got to name it so i will name this thing residual magnetic anomaly all these names you will see in the sample that i will give you the subtitle is sheet 108 in brackets are we are north eastern Nigeria for the subtitle we leave it and click OK so this creates this map so what we are going to do next is to go to grid and image display and click on grid so we'll choose this grid the one that we want to do is this rte now you click on this apply shadow and add color click this down click on shading effect you ensure that you do this all of them must be done according to this process click on this calculator button click on current map then in this place we have to give it a title this one is nano tesla then we'll come down here and then um, for for example rte there are no decimals so others will be using three decimal for rte spi and uh, srtm we we'll use zero decimal for them for zero decimal for this please note again the reduced to equator the source parameter imaging and the shuttle radar topographic mission srtm dm we we'll use zero for them others are three three decimal places so we we'll use zero here we we'll click on locate here click here 
and um, in these annotations here click on posts end values uh, sometimes when you see that the end values are not okay you repeat the process and check of this but most times it will work fine so click on post end values and click on ok now this map is displayed so what you're going to do is just to come here bring this one down a little bit just click any of these buttons here drag this one down to appear here it's okay let's carry this not arrow and put it up here we right click on it and click edit this group right click again select all right click again line attributes will make it one and click on ok then we come back here double click on it double click again right click and say select all right click text attributes we are giving it an attribute of 3.5 we are using the ultra bold uh, let's leave it as that i just want to italicize one of them so let's bring this one down a little bit then for this one you click here right click again edit this group right click again select all right click again text attributes in this text attributes you want to give it an attribute of let's say three weight want ultra bold now we have to italicize click on ok all right so here we have to bring this one down a little bit this usually you don't tamper with it i don't like tampering with this one so you just leave it okay but we can right click we can change the edit group let me just change it select all and text only text attributes for this text let's give it an attribute of 2.5 give it ultra bold and give it italics let's click ok i mean that's the next thing don't try to stretch any of these just change the text attribute because this scale has to be correct so and we have all that we need i mean that's all for now so you click on this map here make sure that this thing is highlighted if you are right now you see once you are it's highlighted you see all these uh, square boxes by the edge make sure it is highlighted like this click on the body make sure it's highlighted okay make sure it's highlighted click on it and then go to map export map choose Jotif make it 500 let it be on this full map file click on ok then you choose the folder so you name it rte the tif will be there automatically and you click on ok that has saved it to where you you want it to be so if we click on date modified we'll see that we have created this map rte dot uh, tif so that is how i love these maps to be created so let us do another one okay so now that we have done you still keep it like this you come to this place and click on delete here come to this place click on delete i want us to do till these are just random so that you see how i don't want the video to stay too long so you go to grid and image display grid grid so let's choose tilt and these things have been selected here in this shadow effect we we'll click on this shadow click on current map and then this particular title now is tilt is in um, radiance so radiance but the sample i will give you you will see all their units are uh, displayed there so we we'll come to this more and the uh, the decimal place should be three and the annotation is still in the post end values we click on ok we have it here so you click on this place if it's not clicking just go here and click it it will click here bring it down a little bit here and don't ever forget to rename this is tilt derivative as you can see we are no longer changing anything we're just changing these names and these other ones here so ensure you click on the map itself click on map export let it be tif okay 
and we name it tilt tilt tlf now save so that has been saved so let us do another one again so you click on this place here click on delete click on delete here come to this particular place read an image display grid this time around we want to do okay let's do potassium let everything there shading effects click this current map ensure that it is three decimal places the title for potassium is percent percent and uh, let's go down here and ensure that the decimal is three ensure that the end value is there we click on ok now that does it you click on this one here bring it down and uh, ensure that this name is changed to the required this is percent potassium and uh, we we'll put it in bracket percent k okay so now that we have named it make sure you click on this map again it is important if you don't click on this map it doesn't carry the project uh, the projected information and you can display it on another georeference map so we go to map uh, export it's in Jotif. it's 500 it's full it's file click on ok and name it k so that's how we roll and save so this one has saved them so if we go back to this place we'll see them uh, all of them are saved we'll see the k that we just produced now we'll see it here this is k that we produced and this is tilt and this is the residual magnetic anomaly so basically that is uh, what you do thank you very much if you have questions ask me